The live commentary may not abide to this rating. Viewer discretion is advised. Greetings, gamer girls. I am Celestina, also known as Colon Collect Nine Nine Nine. Cel did I just say Celestina? Celestina, also known as Colon Collect Nine Nine Nine. And welcome back to World Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. Yeah, uh, in the last episode, we um uh found out the fate of Zelda, and now our job is to f save the seven maidens uh that are, that have been trapped in the dark world. Um, I'm gonna wait till one of those. He's come near me. Dang, I can never kill enemies with those big rocks. But, we're gonna head um, to where we're supposed to, uh, to go next. Now, we go down here. Um, ow. Uh, what are those? Uh, yeah, these are um, uh, Taroses. Not Tauroses, Taroses. And right there we have an area that we can't bypass, so we're just gonna have to keep going this way. Uh, now I mentioned in the last episode that you wanted to collect a lot of rupees. Well, for what's coming up next, you want to you want to make sure you have um, at least 110 rupees. We'll see why in a minute. Uh, is this the? No, there's a little area right here. I don't remember what this is for. Oh, you're new. You're new here, aren't you? Did you come looking for the power of gold? Well, you're too late. It will obey only the first person who touches it. The man who last claimed the power of gold wished for this world. It reflects his heart. Yes, I came here because of greed for the golden power, and look what happened to me. The, to restore the golden land, a person worthy of golden power must defeat the man who created this place. Until that time, I am stuck in this bizarre shape. But but what mischievous thing and to leave lying around? The power of gold. Triforce. Well, if I had the power, there's a place you can bomb, by the way. I, uh, if I had that power, I would make a utopia where there's no, where there's no greed, no war, no pollution, no, no, just, I would make a pure world if I could. Go back here, there's some skulls, and we can get four hearts for a minute. So, a little area you can go to, but that's kind of off the beaten path if you want to get some health. Also, I want to point out that, uh, oh crap, the, oh, I, those enemies, be careful of them, because they literally take up three hearts of, hearts of your health. Um, thankfully with a fairy in that tree. I never found myself, um, just ramming into every tree I saw, I guess, in this let's play I am. And, can you push this? Well, I guess you can't, I've only, rem I've only remembered you being able to. I think you gotta go through here. Um, now if you look really closely, um, that, since Link is like under this thing, if you look really closely, there's little, um, holes that, uh, that show you, like, where you can and can't step when under these things. We have an arrow that's pointing in that direction, so that probably indicates where we're supposed to go. Um, the holes there probably are, believe it or not, something a lot of people don't actually know about. But I figured it out in my first playthrough, I figure you guys can figure it out in layer playthroughs in that. Go over here. Is there anything special here waiting for us? Can we blow this up? No, we can't. So I guess this is just the beat and just something off the beat and have to waste your time. Uh go through here. And we come out of here. What the I'm Kiki the monkey. I love rupees more than anything. Can you spare me 10 rupees? Sure. Good choice. I will accompany you for a while. Well, I just got done doing the monkey cave and mother, and mother too, so... Yeah. Uh, now, I want to clear out the enemies here. I want to make sure I don't take damage. We don't have to clear out the enemies, but I want to do it to make our time easier. And those guys, uh, expectedly drop bombs. 
Okay, thank goodness I cleared out all the enemies because um, if you get hit by an enemy while you have this guy following you, he will act, he will actually run off and you'll have to go back and get him again and pay 10 rupees again. So yeah, it's a good idea to clear out all the enemies um, before you before you uh, go through here. See the entrance to this place is blocked, but if you give me 100 rupees, I will open the entrance for you. Uh, let's ask him to open it. Good choice. Then I get 100 of your rupees. That's why you want 110 rupees. Hops in there and opens that up. Before we go, though, I'm going to see what's down here. Okay. Alright, let's go. Welcome to the... I already forgot its name. The... House of Darkness, I think it was. And we have some different music playing in here than we did for the dungeons back at the... Back at the... In the Light World. And yeah, we got seven of these to go through. So, we can see there's some illusion floors right here that are actually switches. We go through here, and we got these enemies right here. Those enemies were Helmosaurs. Uh, actually, I don't think this is where you want to go, but to get back, you gotta find a button under here. Here we got a bomb. Oh. Uh, there's one on each side. Go through here, we... Oh, I thought there was nothing back here. I guess there is something. So there's only two floors to this place? Okay. Here we have a button to get back. We have more hearts. Oh! Look at this. Return to the stone statues from Zelda 1. Even though they're not really the same thing. Here we have a button right there. Oh, crap. Here. Normally these things don't respawn. Oh, um, I think this takes you to, um, step on here, it takes us, uh, here, which is almost a completely different part of the dungeon. Um, Link, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. I am locked in Turtle Rock atop of Death Mountain. I know you are, you are doing your best, but please hurry. Um... Oh, yeah, I think we actually have to use, um, bombs here. Wow. Yeah, here we go. We have these enemies right here. These are... Berries? Barries? I don't know. Well, basically, they, uh, float around for a bit, but... They start sparking. And if you touch it while it's sparking like that, you're, it's not gonna be a happy day for you. Now we are starting to see cracks on the ground, which if you go through that, uh, that's, it's not going to be healthy for you. We want to go through here, and here we have, um, enemies from, uh, Zelda 1, Garayas. And Garayas, or, excuse me, in Zelda 1, Garayas will throw the boomerangs at you, and that's how you got the boomerang. But in this game, they, uh, actually kind of copy your movement, and the red Garayas do basically the opposite movement. The thing is about the red Garayas is that they will, uh, fire balls at you <laughs> while you are um facing while well, you're facing in the same direction um green dry as i'd rather i say you just walk up to them and uh slash them with your sword the red ones however um uh you want to free you want to use your bow and arrow um 
shoot at the wall, and then make them walk into your arrow. Be a little tricky to do sometimes. There you go. And these and those are fake cracks, by the way. They won't not, they won't break if they blow up. Here we've got blade traps from Zelda One. Man, those things were annoying in Zelda One. And I don't know if they're more annoying in this in uh, the first game or that or this game. I don't know. Which game do you think the blade traps are more annoying in? Uh, Zelda 1 or A Link to the Past? We have some red baris right here, which when they, uh, die, they will split into two berries. Okay, cut through here. Here we have the dungeon map! That's what we came here for. And we have, uh, some areas we can bomb. And we've got some moles in the ground. Diglets. Here we have another chest, which contains another key. Here we have a room with fairies in it, so if you need fairies, you know where to get them. Wow! That's great game design. I think there is uh, something you can kill them with that will make them not split, but I don't remember what it is. Oh, crap. Um. Now that we got two keys, um, and the dungeon map, uh, I guess we should head back up now. Uh, which you gotta push... Not that block. Or, not that block either. This block... Er, <laughs> this block out of the way, so you'll come back up here. Also, if you need fairies, there's bubbles, like, everywhere, so you don't really have to worry too much. Oh, speaking of fairies, that was very lucky. Oh, oh yeah, that's something really jerkish. They can, uh, f they can fly um above um in the out of bounds areas that you can't get to. Of course, the good guys do. The bad guys never do that. All right, these enemies terror pins. They're homing enemies that you can't kill no matter what you do. So, we're just gonna have to ignore them for now. Push that out of the way, we can go this way. And then this chest contains another key. Uh, actually, I don't think we want to go there quite yet. Now, we have some, uh, hard hat beetles here, and also, we have, uh, arrows right here. When you use your Pegasus boots there, uh, you will, um... Actually, I think you don't, you, I don't think you need to use your Pegasus boots. I think you can, uh... Just, I think you can just, um... Put, I think you can just... Uh, jump? Yeah. Yeah, wow, um... Can we use the ice rock here? No, we can't. Oh, the boomerang. Okay, we can't use that either. We can use the boomerang here. And we can't press past that yet, but you can if you just jump down from the other way. Um, is this the way we're supposed to go? Well, lift these up. Um, we can get some hearts and some items. Here we have um, a button. But wait! The door closed back up. What we're supposed to do is we're supposed to push this statue onto the button. So it will stay pressed. 
here we have another uh, red Garaya, which I'm gonna take this one out first. Oh crap! Uh, bit easier to do vertically. What we have under here? Got some arrows. And whoa! Actually, I can see on the map there's a chest there. Is there a chest? Alright, whatever. Um, we have this blade trap here that's going to be going back and forth. Uh, I think we just got to hit uh, shoot this in the eye. Yeah. Wait a minute, we didn't even have the big key yet. I, I always forget that the big, that the dungeon item is always in the big chest. Which we head down here. I went the wrong way. Um, so we're doing things in kind of a weird order here, but that's fine. Um, I mean, I don't have to be perfect. I mean, it's not... I mean, I don't remember everything about the games I play. Alright, I'm just gonna ignore the, these guys right now. I'm just gonna push this out of the way and head over here. Because now we're gonna want to go that way. Uh, if you jump down from there, by the way, I think you're gonna land on the floor below us. Actually, is that where we're supposed to go? Okay, I'm gonna jump down here just to see if this is where we're supposed to go. We have some stealth bows. Maybe this wasn't where we were supposed to go. Okay, oh crap. Uh, just get on the thing. I guess that wasn't where we're supposed to go. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> Which is not where I want it to be. I swear it was where I wanted to be when I left that area, though. Oh well. There actually is an item you can have uh, at this... Um, at this point, that will make this a little bit easier. I just didn't get it. But it's fine. We can get it when we get back to the light world. Because the dungeon item here actually will allow us to... Okay. Oh, crap. Uh. Uh. I am in a rock and a hard place right now. Oh, wait. Eh, no, we're good. Whew. Okay. Now let's do this for real this time. Two keys, we're using one of them here. Alright. Oh crap, actually, um, we want to get through this place fast because uh, the ground is going to start are disappearing right here. Oh, of uh, course. Because when you fall off, it's going to start you back here, and I don't know how you, and I don't know how to make the stuff respawn because when you go out, it doesn't, oh, it does. Okay, whatever. Uh, Pegasus boots. Yeah, there we go.
And I think we go this way to get the boss key. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, we got the compass. If we get touched by one of those things, we're gonna die. Uh, where do we want to go? Where's this gonna take us? Uh, it takes us down here in a place where we can get a lot of rupees. Uh, magic power, quick! And we got a lot of rupees down here, so we'll have more rupees to upgrade our bomb and arrow supply. But, and we also have another key down here. And we have some arrows. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh yeah, both staircases take you to the same place. But we kind of need to go down there to get a key anyway. Go behind here. We can get... Five rupees. Whoop do. Uh, we can actually uh, push this statue um, to uh, trap the blade trap. And <laughs> we trap a... We trap a trap. And that'll just take us back here. I pro actually, it probably would have been smarter before if I just grabbed the skull, took it with me, and threw it at the at the Helmosaurs. So, stupid thing on my part. Here we've got more of those Kodongos. Hey, I'm actually starting to remember these enemies' names. Or, these enemy names, jeez. Over here we have, we have some bombs. This just contains another key. Where is the freaking big key in this? And have I been calling it the boss key this whole time? Yeah, there we go. This takes us to the big chest, but we lack the big key. Where? Where is it? I've explored like every area. Oh, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Um, I think I know where it is. Um, just a matter of how to get it. And I could use the uh, use the lantern here, but I don't. I'm lazy. Oh, uh, actually, we don't need it. Oh, well, now we do. Let me get some extra magic there. We have another... Our floor's gonna start d disappearing, so I'm just gonna go this way. Ow. Um... Ah, now I remember what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to blow this up. And fall through here. I knew that had significance, I just didn't remember what it was. You're supposed to... Well, you need a key to go through here as well. And going up here... Will take you... Here. Which will get you the, the big key! Okay, I will meet you guys back at the big chest. Also, another thing I forgot about was, under this skull is a button that when you press it, this chest appears, which gets you, which gets you another key. God, can you imagine if I forgot that? Look, a floating red rupee. I didn't even know that could happen. Okay. Uh, okay, um, sorry if I've been, uh, this uh, has been really a 
very good run of the of the Palace of Darkness. I just don't really remember everything about it. I mean, I'm only human. I obviously I'm not perfect, so yeah. But um, did you even finally get this? We have the magic hammer. Now you can drive the wooden stakes down to the ground. You can use it to pound other things too. Here we have the magic hammer, which I don't see what's so magic about it. I mean, it looks like it would function just as any other hammer. Ow! God, these reminds me of the. God, the, these enemies remind me of that one enemy in Super Mario World where they look up and then they and then they just spew fire out of their mouths. But now that we have that hammer, uh, we can actually fight these guys now. Uh, the imp the uh, impact of the hammer t hitting the ground will flip them over, and so you can attack them that way. But there's also something else that the hammer is used for. Um, which you guys can probably imagine what it is, but we're gonna go back to uh, we're gonna go back. Oh, assuming I don't get hit by these things. Of course I did. Why did I do that? Ugh. You know what? Die. And of course you don't. What the freak? I was trying to swing my sword. Have I died at least once in every dungeon so far? I... <sighs> there. And I don't even care about that bomb. Uh, I think there's some kind of reward in here if you kill all the enemies, so I'm gonna do that real quick. And great, I don't remember exactly the, the exact way to the boss. Oh man, I actually, not gonna lie, I really don't like this boss. And I'm gonna get myself another fairy just to make up for the one, for the one I had to use. How fitting that we're killing this thing with magic and it takes away our magic when we get hit by it. Um, well, also, I thought I still had my magic powder equipped. Okay. Yeah, I think it was actually down here. I think I gotta do this again. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. Okay. Uh okay, maybe this wasn't where you were supposed to, where you're supposed to go. Um I am such an idiot. I really am. Well, whatever. I guess we got to the, we're getting to the boss all the same. Only 
it took only it made the video longer. I uh, you can also pull the statues too. I don't think I ever said that. I don't get it. How is the skull not heavy enough to press the button down? So not ready to fight this boss, but I'm still gonna do it. I don't even know how you're supposed to fight it anyway. Uh, thankfully we got the um, the uh, switch set to blue. Uh, that's actually and actually I have something I forgot to mention or set the red. Something I actually I forgot to mention was um, you pound that pound in the moles with the hammer. It's like whack-a-mole. Which, oh my god. I remember having like a little, um, uh, game that, that, where you could hook it up to the TV and it would, and uh, you could play like a Mac whack-a-mole. Oh, come on! Look at doorways. Okay, now we're here. Yeah, these things will get up over time, and I think they actually move faster when they do get up. Are you serious right now? Why am I only getting one of them? There we go. We need magic for the boss, so I think we'll be fine. It. Which block am I supposed to push? There we go. Oh, yep, takes us here. Here's the boss. This is the... I don't even remember the boss's name. This is the Helmosaur King. What you're supposed to do is, um... Okay. Want to be careful because, um, it will try to use its tail to attack you and also has this fireball attack. You're supposed to, um... Damn. You're supposed to use the uh, hammer to, um... You're supposed to use the hammer to, uh, destroy its, uh, oh, I think you can also use bombs, or maybe I don't even remember how to do it. Yeah, you can also use bombs. If I could freaking do it, that'd be nice. Why am I almost dead already? Seriously. If... My god, I hate this boss. I just... I just don't know how to fight him. Thankfully, the... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think it is doing damage. It just... Again, seriously. If I die... To this boss, I'm going to be so freaking mad. Oh yeah, it is hurting him. Okay, we got to move out of the way. How the hell do you dodge that? Okay, now I think we can start hitting with our sword. Yeah, you just got to use the um, hammer to destroy his helmet. And then uh, you can hit it with your sword. Okay, we have one fairy left. Thank there we go. Thank goodness I didn't have to use it. Apparently, I always thought I do know how to fight this, and I just didn't know it because it didn't look like it was doing damage when you were you were hitting it with with your hammer. And we have 
A jewel? Is that what it is? I think it is. Uh, I can't wait to see how long this video is going to be. But, upon beating, upon beating the dungeon, you got a nice little 3D effect there. We have rescued one of the seven maidens. Link, because of you, I can escape the clutches uh, from the clutches of the evil monster. Thank you. This world used to be the golden land where the Triforce was hidden, because Gan and the boss of Thieves wished it the world would, wished that the world was transformed. I'm sure he's intending to conquer even our light world after building his power here. He is trying to open a larger gate between the world near the castle using our powers, but the gate is not open completely yet. If we seven maidens come together, we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I will tell you. I will tell you where the other girls are hid. I believe you will destroy Ganon. I will return to my original form at that time. Do you un do you understand? Yes. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. There we go. Now that we have beaten the first dungeon, if I look at the map. We have seven dungeons we can go to. You can tackle these in any order you want. There are some that are requ uh, some items in every dungeon that are required for others. Um, however, um, I am going to be doing all the dungeons in chronological order: two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, but my recommendation order uh, would be to do dungeon four first because the dungeon item in dungeon four will allow you to get an upgrade to your sword. And then I would suggest doing 5 and 6 so you can get another upgrade to your sword. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to be doing them in chronological order. If you don't want to do them in chronological order, you don't have to. But I am. So, uh, next time on The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, we're going to head back to the Light World. And um, I'm going to show you a couple things you can get now that you have the Master Sword that I put out before. I will see you guys next time, and as always, remember to smile. You are the face of Cold Clocks and MMA Gaming. Goodbye.